Welcome back to the Greek Islands here in downtown Indianapolis, located on South Meridian Street. I'm your host, Amy Beers. George and Angela serve some of the area's finest Greek cuisine, which I might add is available for takeout. And in a minute, we're going to go inside and explore this amazing restaurant. But first, I'd like to thank my jewelry sponsor, Cheeky Couture, for helping me get my cheeky on. And I'd also like to thank my hair sponsor, Michael Warren Salon, with SoCap Hair Extensions. All right, well, I've never really had Greek food, and I always love trying new things, so I'm really excited. Plus, I've heard they're going to have a belly dancer tonight. Let's go. Right now, you know, my kids take care of the business. Well, it looks like they're doing a good job. What made you decide to come here and open the restaurant? Because I am Greek, you know. What else? I'm going to be a lawyer. <laughs> I have to do something. Yeah. I don't speak well English. That's the reason we have my kids with me and my wife. And I started little by little here. And finally, I do tremendous business. People support me and I work for the people. We not count how many hours we work in here. Probably lots. I have Put your sweat and blood in this place. Here. Ten balloons. Wow. Ten balloons. I don't have it because I'm a good lover. I have it because we're working hard. Did you meet your wife here or in Greece? I meet my wife. She, she be a liar to me. She say, you know, she love me. I don't know if she love me. <laughs> have a good relation with any of these people here. All, all of them, he knows me, and I be very polite to the people. We show the appreciation. You have to, you're not because you have a door here to eat, to be a general of McCarthy. I mean, you gotta be polite. Or nobody will come back, if you're rude. So they're nice here, good service. Today we have 15, 20 people working for this small place. The reason we want to be straight with the people because Indianapolis support me fanatically. We have a strong friends here. Thank God. And God bless America. It was such a pleasure talking with Papa Louis. He's such a character and he really appreciates all the people that come into his restaurant. Oh, we love Greek food and we know this is a great place to eat it. Mm -hmm. Are there any other Greek restaurants you've been to? Oh yes. Yeah. How does this one compare? Ah, uh, this one's fabulous. It? Yeah, it's homey and the food is fabulous. It's family owned too, which I like that. Yeah, I like that as well. Yeah, they're really hospitable. Uh -huh. Our waitress knows more about wine than than any place I've ever been. Really? Yeah, she seems very knowledgeable. She could describe it really well. Really? Mm -hmm. She gives good good recommendations with which yeah. wines yeah. to pair with what foods here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, appreciate that. I worked here in high school and middle school. We have been coming here though to eat for, you know, since I was like four, so probably like 18 or 19 years. Yeah. What was, why were you coming here so often? My family just loved it. Like we've always, this was our Greek restaurant and it still is. So like we had my baby shower today and everyone came in from out of town and we were like, we have to go eat at Greek Islands. What is that on the plate? That's mezzaki combo. That is like pita, hummus, uh, tiramisu salada, tzatziki, um, an eggplant spread, um, tomato, cucumber, and olives. My favorite is the exohiko, which is like uh, pork and vegetables wrapped in phyllo dough. And then the gyros, you can't go wrong with gyros. And if you're indecisive, I would go with the combination platter because you get to try a little bit of everything. So. What desserts would you recommend? <gasps> Ooh. I like the risoholo, the rice pudding. That's my favorite. What other kinds of desserts do they have? Um, they have galakta burico, but we call that got a big booty co because it's custard and you can't eat too many of those. And then they have baklava, of course. So, yeah. Opa, what keeps you coming back? Uh, the atmosphere of the food. George. George? George. <laughs> He's in love with my wife. Oh, yeah. Ask him, he'll tell you. Does that make you jealous? What's your favorite thing on the menu? Saganaki. What is Saganaki? It's flaming cheese. Oh, is that what I keep seeing all over the place? All these flames that keep going up. And Opa! Yeah, that's the flaming cheese. Okay. Do you say Opa whenever you get it? Uh huh. Yeah. It's hot. I could feel the flames. Awesome. Why did you bring them here? Well, 
we were actually trying to find somewhere different to go to to find a little bit of trouble, have some good food, and in a relaxing atmosphere. And so this was an easy choice. Are you getting into trouble? We haven't yet, but we're only on our first bottle of wine. It was something Greek, and it has a nice long finish in blackberry uh, aftertaste, I guess. So I, I don't know. It's like trying to read Greek. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's all Greek to me, so I don't know. Are you going to be here for dinner, getting food? Oh, yeah. Good food, great. Great food. We're going to get the spaghetti, and they're still looking at some other options. George, the guy who owns the place, very delightful. Very fun, good guy. Really takes a lot of pride in his food. So your belly dancing moves. <laughs> the finger symbols. Oh, there she goes. I've always been fascinated by other cultures, learning their traditions and what they mean. All right, so I see that they're breaking plates. What's that all about? The breaking of plates is a customary tradition. Of, uh, it's a, basically, you know, we're having fun. Uh, we're, we're having a good time. It's a celebration. Yeah. And in the Greek custom, that's been practiced for generations. Wow. It, I feel so much a part of the culture. Like, I just feel, yeah, very much a part of it. Most of my American friends that know me, have, have embraced my culture and love it every time we get together and have a celebration yeah. because we're all family. Lots of plate breaking. Plate breaking and uh, drinking a lot of Greek wine and celebrating. I love Bella dancing. Let's go find out how often she's here. All right, we are here with Kelly, the belly dancer here tonight, which the Greek islands, they have belly dancing every Friday and Saturday night, starting at seven. How often are you here? I'm here a couple times a month. Yeah? Yes. How long have you been belly dancing? I've been dancing about 13 years. Wow. How, where did you learn to do belly dance? I started dancing when I was an undergrad up at Purdue. There was a community center nearby, and I started taking classes then. I took classes, I took a year of belly dancing in college, but I haven't really done anything with it, but I, it was fun and I loved it. It's just a very fun activity. The music and dancing create such a festive atmosphere. Let's go see what everyone else thinks. Are you having fun at the Greek islands? We're having a ball. Yeah, is it your first time? It is my first time. Oh. Is it your first time ever eating dinner when there's a belly dancer performing? Ever. Yes. Have you ever seen a belly dancer before? No. She's good. Yeah. It's yeah. so fun. Yeah. It's so, it's such an interesting, I don't even think interesting is a word. It's just, I don't know, a very sensual dance. It is very. Yes. I wish I could move that way, but I cannot. You could take lessons. That's what I should be doing. <laughs> All right. What are you going to get to eat? I don't know yet. I keep watching everything else and I forget to look at the menu. Well, you definitely have to get the flaming cheese. It's I forget what it's called. We ordered that. We, did? we did order that, so that should be coming soon. Yes, flames. <laughs> I want to see the flames and then the belly dancer do like dance with the flames. Wouldn't that be hot? <laughs> what to say? Yes. <laughs> I know them for 35 years. Yeah. It's a family friends. This is the best restaurant in Indianapolis, and you can come and have fun, and joy, and good food. This is probably the first restaurant I've ever broke a plate on purpose. And I was allowed to. It's like a sample platter thing. It has gyros, moussaka, I think spanakopita. It all looks wonderful. The gyros, gyros yum. I love gyros, and they do the best ones here. What, are, what is in a gyro? Is that lamb meat? It's lamb and beef that is kind of formed together, and then it's roasted on a spit. And the, the roasting part just has spices, and, and it's a good combination. And then they slice it down and make thin strips, and it's just so good. Do they have a, do they have a, is that a kid's menu? It is. It is. It's the grilled cheese on pita and the chicken, um, Slovaki, was it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, very kid friendly. What did you guys get to eat? I had the chicken Slovaki. And I got the gyros. So your first time, is this your first time experiencing Greek food or just first time at Greek Islands? First time here. We're actually from Chicago. Oh, you are? Yeah, so we're in town visiting, so we wanted to try this place out. <laughs> what do you think so far? 
I love it. It's very family friendly. They really do treat you like family. And it's really nice and the food is awesome so far so I think it's awesome I mean it's laid-back atmosphere very friend, uh, family friendly and uh, just good time this is called chicken souvlaki okay. and then they have the pasta chini I love how their font on the menu is all in, in like Greek font Spana Cotiro Pita. <laughs> yes, I mean, that's really a long... How about just around the islands? <laughs> yeah, well, there are a few that are easy, but it's all good. Yes, it is. And the Greek food is almost like Italian, only it just has a little bit different spice. Yeah. So it's easy to find your way around. That, that, that's that cheese, isn't it? That's the cheese that they set on fire and everybody yells, Opa! Opa! I've so never had it before, and they thought it was good, too. But it is my favorite. I could make a whole meal out of out of Saganaki. I could. It is wonderful. you got to have Saganaki. Well, I think I'm going to try it soon. I have to, because I think everybody I've talked to has had it. Well, They're all raving about it. That's what you got to have when you come here. you just got to. All this talk of food is making me hungry. I'm going to go see if I can't woo George into letting me sample some of the food. Co-owner with your sister, Angela, who's back in the kitchen. Busy, busy. Yeah, you know, we like to keep it an authentic Greek restaurant here by keeping all our women in the kitchen. Oh, I'm... That's not funny. <laughs> what exactly is Greek cuisine? Well, look, I think that from all that part of the world there, there's been a big influence from country to country on cuisine. But basically, our food has kind of taken from both Eastern and Western. So it's a big variety. I mean, there's certain times of the year we eat a lot of meat. We have pasta dishes. We eat a lot of, uh, oh, we eat a lot of greens. Uh, we eat a lot of vegetables. I mean, it's a very, the Greek, the Mediterranean diet is one of the best diets in the world. So. I noticed your dad and your mom and your dad. Yeah. Are, have been hanging out here my, all night. Yeah, my mom and dad started the place in 1987, all of us. They're still the owners, you know, I mean, they're still the people that are responsible for the place, but they started, the recipes are all theirs. Okay. So the recipes from when they opened are still the same? Same recipes, we haven't changed anything, uh, and, and those recipes are probably, I would say a few of them are hundreds of years old. Wow. Passed down from generation to generation. Yeah, my grandmother was an amazing cook. Was she? On my mother's side and on my father's side, actually. Is that where Angela learned to cook? Uh, yeah. Yeah, majority of Angela's uh, knowledge came from now. She went to school. She's got a couple degrees in uh, uh, restaurants, and, and but most of her learning was done here through my parents. I noticed you guys have a gluten-free menu. Yeah, we're one of the only restaurants in town that does it. We have a lot of people that started calling us years back, and we said, hey, let's make it good for them, too. And uh, it's a good Greek experience. Accommodating for everybody. And you guys also have all your food is available for carry-out? Yeah, we can do everything for carry-out. Uh, we do catering. Uh, you name it, we'll do it. Greeks lead kind of a fun life. Yeah. I mean, you know, that whole... We, we, broke, we broke plates earlier. That was so fun. Yeah, that was exciting. You did yeah. good. You did good. I felt so enveloped in the call service. It was so fun. Well, you know, in 25 years, you're the first blonde girl that's broke plates here at the Greek Islands and hasn't cut herself. Wow. Is that an amazing statistic? You did so So they've well. cut themselves before? Yes. I was a little afraid to break them. We've had some serious bleeding going on here. Serious? Yes. That's over the years. How often do you guys break plates here? Uh, generally when we have the uh, belly dancing. Okay. You know, a lot of it. My, my dad loves to do it. It's part of him. You know, he's been like that all our lives and he enjoys it. So yeah. most of the time he's here. How often do you guys have belly dancers? Every Friday and Saturday night. We're going to prepare some food and we're going to try a couple things. And I, I, now I've seen you. I think your program is really cool. And I, and I think that the, you willing to try everything and, you know, the way you kind of react to things, you know, in a good way, in a fun way is really cool. Well, I love trying new things. So I'm excited. What are we trying today? Uh, we're going to try a variety of different items. We're going to have our flaming cheese and, we're gonna, of course, we're going to have a Greek salad. And then we're going to do one of our combination plates, which will give you a little taste of everything. A little taste of grease. Absolutely. So wooing George was easier than I thought. It's a Greek cheese that's been lightly battered and then we bring it out here and flame it. We cook it in the back and bring it out and flame it. Try it. It's really good. Go. What does the flaming do? You look like you're a little scared. You going to be okay? All right. What does the flaming do? The flaming just is more for show. If you haven't noticed, us Greek people are kind of just, showy, Amy. Just as an excuse to be like, opa. Yeah, I mean, we're always looking for break a some plates. Yell, break something. There is so much food here. Opa. All new tastes and everything is so delicious. This is a combination plate. Just got a little bit of everything on it. This is a stuffed grape leaf here. Greek potatoes, lemon potatoes, Greek style green beans, gyro, which is a combination beef and lamb. You have a teropita and a spanakopita. Those are just kind of wraps, kind of like a, like a cheese pie, we call them, or a spinach pie. It's not like anything I've ever had before. 
If you've never had Greek food, there's nothing to be intimidated by. Just come in and try it. The servers are more than welcome to give recommendations to newbies. If you want authentic Greek cuisine, then come to the Greek islands here in downtown Indianapolis on Meridian Street. Plus, they have belly dancing every Friday and Saturday starting at 7. All right, when we come back, we'll be at Fed Up Sports Bar. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.